Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a requested video by Miss Gigi. Um, she had, she's mentioned about my cuticles, how good they always look, and honestly, I don't spend a whole lot of time on them, but I promised her that I would do a video on using my Germanicure system. Mostly, it's about this tool here. This is the Germanicure cuticle tool. And it comes in a little pouch and it is pointy on one end and it's like a cuticle pusher on the other end and I do this once a week um, when I play on the weekends I normally come in and I don't have a lot to work with today but you can see and this is how I use it I always start off with the pointy end and I go all the way around the nail even down the sidewalls and get up in there and get any well, there's a lot more than I thought there would be. Get up in there and, you know, scrape up any of that skin that has grown onto the nail. Or any excess polish residue or whatever. But I, I go around the nail really well like that. And then I take the cuticle end and I push my cuticles back with it. I'm using very light pressure. I'm not going too crazy. But I go up in there and just use it like a regular cuticle tool. But it's like a file. It's got some a very super duper fine grit on it. And there we go. So that's pretty much what I do to all of my nails. Let me grab my... I don't normally do this part because I'm normally not filming it. But I do that. And then... I, occasionally I do use a regular cuticle pusher. I like the bent one. It just seems to work better for me. And then occasionally <clears throat> I will use my curet. Um, it's got like a cup on a bigger cup on one end and a little bitty cup on the other end. And I will use that to go around my cuticle area as well. I also, after I do this, I always use um, the Sister Chic sister scrub and I scrub that it's like a shirt but I'll scrub I will scrub I lost my battery um, I'll scrub it into all of my nails up under and I'll just massage it in and I will show you that here in just a moment but before I do that part I always do any filing I need to do and I love my Germanicure glass file I just um, I'm sold on it if and it's not so much Germanicure that you have to have. You just have to have a good quality file. So I use that and then I use my big tub of sugar scrub from Sister Chic and I'll just show you real quick on one little nail. I get just a little bit on my finger. Of course if I'm doing all my nails I get more than that and that's probably way more than I need. But I just rub that in and I rub it in, I sit and massage it in for just a few minutes and you know get all of the goodies going everywhere especially on those side areas where I get the hard skin but I do that and then under the sink I will take my little nail brush and do some more scrubbing with it and then I rinse it off with warm water. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. And that is what I do as far as tools and cleaning up and, and that sort of thing. Now about once a month I will use the cuticle remover and this is the Blue Cross from Sally's. I just decanted it into a little bottle that had a brush and I'll run it around and use that cure it. Um, it's not time for that but uh, I only do that once a month. Um, but I, I will run it around the cuticle and even over the nail and then I'll use the curate to go over it you know and get up anything that I might need to get up um, and then my other cuticle arsenal is my products that I use on them and this is the Sister Chic um, Sister Serum I love this oil. This is I've used a lot of oils, and it really doesn't matter what you use. You can use olive oil. You can use um, any kind of oil, coconut oil, anything that you have on hand. Um, you don't have to immediately run out and buy a special cuticle oil. But after all of the oils I've tried, this this is my favorite. 
drops and things. Um, it, I put this on every night before I go to bed, and as you can see, I'm getting low. I'm going to have to order some more. Um, this one sinks in, and it's got the right carrier oils in it that just makes it kind of sink in, grab hold, and do its job. I love, 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 love this stuff. And then after I put my cuticle oil on, I will put on some Aquaphor. Um, just on my fingertips, just on the tips and my nails, and I'll rub it in a little bit, and then I put a little blob of this in my hand. This is the J.R. Watkins hand cream, and I'll massage that in, and here lately I've been going to sleep with my little white cotton gloves on um, that I got from Sally's. This isn't a damaged nail, by the way. This is a patch that has uh, staining on it from a purple nail polish, so I don't want y'all thinking i am you know, got something funky going on. Well, it is something funky, but it's not like a bad funky. So that is what I do for my cuticle care. I know I've done like my maintenance videos before, and if you're interested, you can go back and see them. Um, they, I talk about many of the same things, but this one was just for cuticle care today. I wanted to especially demonstrate how I use this little tool right here. This is just a really great tool, and I've seen similar products at Sally's. They're like orange wood sticks with like um, filing grit on the end of them. You, you might could give that a try uh, if you don't have something like this. Um, but uh, like I said, this was some of the best money I ever spent um, because for me getting a nice clean cuticle area is just really important for my manicures. It's um, the base. If you get the base right, then the rest of it goes pretty smooth. So, I want to thank Gigi for asking me to do this, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informational. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And that is it for today. So, until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.